What's up guys? Welcome to the second part of the tutorial. This is gonna be the editing. It's not gonna be exactly the same like Brandon Wolfer, because one, he does his editing in Photoshop, which is a much more extensive program than Lightroom, of course. And two, I did kind of a similar style, but I made my own version of it, and I would recommend you to do the same. Just play around with the things that I will show you and make your own look that you like, that you appreciate. And hey, it would be actually cool if you share your your pictures in the comment section. So let's go into the tutorial now. All right, so this is the after, and now we'll see how we'll get there. So yeah, of course the picture is a bit dark, so you bump up the exposure. Then you want like this kind of blue and more magenta pinkish look so you change the temperature and the tint. I don't go too crazy on the contrast, just a little bump. The most important thing here is actually to increase the shadows a lot because that's really gonna make the picture help to get this effect. Then a little bit clarity, some vibrance to have like you know, she has a nice red purple kind of jacket so I really like that in the picture uh, but then like the main thing one of the biggest things that will make this picture give the effect that you want is to play with the tone curve here and you'll see me just actually kind of playing with it till I get the look that I want and I would suggest you to do the same just play around and see what you like um, I think I didn't do anything in the green channel because I'm not really looking for that. I just did like the RGB and the red. Then, um, yeah. Like most of the time, people say you need to have like this S curve. It's kind of a theoretical thing that you should create in a tone curve. But if you find something that works for you, and it's not this, just do it, because with doing the same thing that everybody does, you're gonna get the same result as everybody has. So yeah, just experiment yourself, and find a look that you like, and don't care too much about what people might say about it, or it's not the right way to do something. If you like it, you like it. It's just about, for me, it's just about how the image in the end looks, and if you like it or not. That's the main thing that matters. So yeah, this is uh, some adjustments in the red tone curve. Then after this, I will bump up the saturation of the red and the magenta a little bit. Just because of her jacket, you know. Uh, I really like the color of her jacket. That's why I wanted it to pop a little more. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now, the red and the magenta is just a little bit, don't go too crazy on it. Um, then something that really affects these pictures most of the time is the split toning. You could like choose like a bluish one for one of the highlights or the shadows and then like a pinkish one for the other. But here I just adjust adjusted the highlights. And then now, okay, maybe some people will say that I will go a little crazy here with the luminance. And I wouldn't recommend it for every picture, but I actually really liked the porcelain, porcelain skin look that it gave her on this picture. Because it's kind of dreamy, mystical vibe. And that's why it's okay to have a little bit overboard, I think. And then the enabling the, the lens profile correction there really did a crazy thing because it took away all of the natural vignetting of the lens which is why we have now like this really clear image. Then here with camera calibration, it also does a lot. Actually, you'll see that what I did, it affects maybe a picture in a way that people wouldn't like, because it takes away the color of the lights in her hand, it makes it white, but I really like it for this image. And here I do some little adjustments with some spot removal to get like yeah, her skin even more clear. I don't go too crazy on this stuff, just um, 
yeah, press some spots that you would like to see healed. And very nice little tip actually to save to change the size of your area that you want to do. You can just if you have a mouse with a wheel, you can just roll the wheel and it makes it bigger and smaller. So you can just make it the size of the spot you want to remove. And it's uh, yeah easier for the program to find a good area. Also, if you don't like the area like here, but it's auto selects, you can drag it and select it your own. So yeah, that's that. And then uh, the only thing I'm gonna do is make the eyes pop a little more. So I take the brush for that and I brush in the eyes just a little bit, just two, three times brush it. And then I bump a lot of things. <laughs> You'll see me bumping exposure, contours, highlights, shadows, clarity, saturation, sharpness and make them also a little bit more blue because the picture where in general has this blue turquoise um, yeah, uh, color, it's like the main feel that it has so it will make her eyes also reflect this feel that we want um, but it might be you know a little bit crazy and then you just slide your slides a little bit back so yeah but here's like the before and the after and I think that's looking pretty awesome so let me know what you guys think about it and don't yeah don't do what I did but just play around and yeah send your pictures here in the comment section <laughs>